Life is hard. I mean, life is really hard. There's no way around it. Life is hard. You just got to choose your hard. Because if you work for somebody for your entire life, that's hard. If you uh, never have the opportunity to advance in a company, that's hard. Um, if you want a relationship to really work, that's hard. If you want to own your own business, starting it from the ground up, from the ground all the way up, trying to get it momentum, trying to build it, it's hard. Writing a book, trying to get people to read it, trying to get it into their hands, it's hard. Uh, but you know what's also hard? Going to work every day, not having control of your time, uh, being at the bottom, not being able to make your own decisions is hard. Uh, dying, not having uh, loved ones around you because you've maybe cheated on all of your past relationships or whatever is hard. Not being able to have something to pass on to your children's children because you was afraid to step out and start your own business is hard. See, the thing is, you could be a uh, CEO of a company, but if you don't own that company, when you die, you can't give that CEO position to your children. They're going to have to start from the bottom and work that hard corporate ladder just like you did. So here's the thing, people. We have to choose our hard because it's all hard. It's all going to take work. It's all going to take dedication. It's all going to take you doing your best. There is no easy road. Nothing about not being able to have control over your time is easy. There's nothing about working 365 days for a company only to hopefully get seven days off when they say you can get off. That's not easy. That's hard. Not being able to be there for your kids when they're sick and you have to decide between helping your kids or going to work because you don't have the time that's hard so you're going to have to choose what hard you're going to do you know starting a business from the ground up is hard you know it may take a year or two maybe even five until you're really successful that's hard work uh writing a book you sitting down putting in your thoughts formulating it trying to get it just right going through editing and then once you get it published getting it to the hands of the people is hard working through a marriage that has ups and downs commitments loving somebody when they're unlovable uh, showing favor and grace when you don't think you should that's hard but when you choose the right hard the benefits far outweigh the easy heart. See, the easy heart is just to go with the flow. Stay at the bottom of the barrel. You know, stay with the company forever. Cheating on your spouse. Not writing the book. Not losing weight. Avoiding the gym. That's the easy heart. It has very few benefits. But when you maximize the hard heart, when you stay committed, when you make that dream happen, when you stick with it no matter what happens, come hell or high water, the benefits of that is amazing. You can live a life that other people can only dream of. You can have a relationship that people will envy. You'll have something to pass down to generations. So I wanna leave you with this thought. Choose your heart. You're listening to Elgin Stevens. I hope you enjoy your day and I pray that your year is absolutely amazing. Till we meet again, peace.